you know if you have many videos in youtube which will guide you to select a certain area and the whole column and whole row so so i'm going to show you how to do this in a simple and uh, more constructive way also so it might be a repetitive of some other videos but still uh, there is a unique that's which i'll be showing you in this so now if you want to sell, tell that if you want to highlight the area is there a cell uh, parallelly it shows you the value is the total amount is more than thousand bucks so in the normal excel what you're going to do is first you'll be selecting the area and then you'll be going to the condition of formatting and you'll be making the new rule and here if you go there and you can type and you can make this cell reference change and you can make equal to or greater than or greater than equal to 1000 so what we'll be doing is it will be highlighting the cell in the the values in a particular format so you can see the values which are more than thousand have been highlighted so in the same way if you selected the whole range you have you have got the same thing so let me clear this now so the same thing if you have selected the whole area and if you had done the conditional formatting and if you have selected the area and change the okay, format to then equal to 1000 so you get this but apart from that if you want to select a specified area and but you don't want some of the things to be selected so how to do that is also what i'm going to tell you and how to clear this is entire sheet if you need to be cleared so what you can do is you can select a certain sheet certain area from here and you can select a certain area so you, so you can use control and in control you can select this so select this area with the control button and select this area If you select this area, you can select this area, and then you can go to conditional formatting, new rule, and here also you can do the same thing. And if you want to highlight, and you can select this. And it can be greater than or equal to five hundred. So you can give some fancy color you can do okay and you can do okay so this is also one more technique if you select the whole area also you can do that now if suppose you want to do the do this in, in r and functions so you can write the function over here you can do both in r or and function so you can write or We can uh, we can write or this is greater than equal to twenty the logical two will be this one is greater than equal to one thousand. So you can hit enter so it is showing you true and false there is no meaning for this unless and until you have a if condition or you give a color to it so this doesn't, this doesn't really have a meaning but still if you want to have meaning on this you can select this and uh, if you can make this into two it will be coloring the, it will just be coloring this area so what you can do is you can 
you don't need to connect select all you need to select this and the new rule we can copy the formula first and in the formula you can make this as You don't need to do that, but here you can select this. Control C, to escape, go to conditional formatting. Before that, uh, select the area you want to, to have that. So I'll be selecting this one and mention a new rule and paste this and change the formula a lighter one you can give a bold and italic formatting So you can see only those areas have been selected, which has been selected as true. So now if you want to have a specific word, if I just as I told you here. So let me clear this off. So if you select this as a specific sheet, you can just get into this for a specific item only. So if you make a specific text to so you can see only this specific text has been selected. Or if I, I can show you that if you want to see say that uh, the word glossy. So I want to see that the word glossy is here. So if you want to highlight the the cells containing the word glossy, G L O S S Y. So what I, if I do is if I select the whole select the whole range, and if I make this a new rule, and then I can make this. specific text and if I type here glossy glossy and I want to make this into a fancy color and say ok so you can see only this area has been selected but I have selected the whole set but only this column is selected like this true and false only this is being selected now if I want to select the whole set what is the best solution First, first we have to clear these rules. This is clear from the entire sheet. Okay. So the best solution is you should know how to get this search uh, the word. So you can do is there's a formula called is number. And in is number you can put a search formula. Search. So it's asking find text. So I can want to find the text glossy or whatever it is. If I have a number, I don't have to put a double quote. Now if I'm putting a text, I have to put a double quote. So I'm going to write glossy. And I'm going to close this. And I'm going to parenthesis within text. So it's just asking where is the text. So I'll be selecting this cell. And I'm going to make this as a reference. And I'm going to close this. And I'm going to hit an enter. 
So it's showing false because there is no word glossy in this. So if you come down, you can see this glossy is here. So you can check that by putting a count it. So this is my range. And my criteria is T T R U E. So there are three three areas where the glossy word is instructed. So it can be it can be any words. It's a it doesn't matter. It's a small. If you want, I will be typing here a glossy. So you can see it has changed to four now. So this is the way you can search. Uh, search items in a uh, search any words in a Excel Excel sheet. Apart from that, if you want to name this thing, you can give this as a, in a if condition. Also, you can give as if this is a logical test. If it is true, give me as yes. Yes. Comma and if it is a false, give me a no. So the truths will be yes and false will become no. So in the same way, I can what I can do is here also for true I can change into an S. Yes. So this is how we can make a if in the search. But now I'm not interested in this, but I want to highlight the area. So if I select, as I showed you, if I do a specific text only, these four items will be highlighted, which is written as glossy. So only these four will be highlighted. So I want to avoid this. I want to select highlight the whole. I will select highlight the whole row area. So to limit, uh, so to to get the right formula for that is you can just go here and copy this. Copy this formula. Yeah, you can copy this. Control C. And this is where the uh, this is the variable you have to select the whole set. If you want, you can select this also. It is and now go to conditional formatting, new rule, and just paste this and put an equal to. And equal to and change the color format. So you can give some different color italics and uh, bold italics. So I was searching that bold italics and uh, okay, there is an open parenthesis is missing. So I'm closing and this should be a closing parenthesis here. So you can see how it can be selected for the whole. So it's a very useful video. Many times we don't we have to we find it's difficult in Power Query. You have uh, options to search the certain words in Power Query and that's almost here. So if you use the formula is number search and whatever num name you give, it is going to the search irrespective of up the case upper case or lower case. So if you have do if you do, did only the uh, if you did only selected and made only for the specific text specific text and I put her glossy, we have seen that only this area will be only this area will be selected. So only it will check the item which is having glossy. 
But if you want to select the whole bunch, I means whole group, then this is the best way to do that. And uh, you can also uh, add and check this if you, you can see that if you make a small letter over glossy and you can see how the things are changing. So it's uh, it, irrespective of the case, it doesn't really have any issues. So whenever you have something, uh, the name which has been there, automatically it will be highlighting. So this is the way I showed you three different techniques. One is how to search the word, how to make uh, if in that condition, how to select the range bit by bit, like if you were select this, copy, and then put a, hold the control key and you can select the other and you can make the segregation. So I hope you find this video useful and uh, please subscribe to my channel and please share this video and hit the bell icon and uh, give me your valuable comments and let's meet in the next video. If you find my video is getting very slow and uh, voice is not so good, uh, if you want the information, you can just go to the uh, YouTube bar and you can set the settings and make the speed into 1.5, 1.75 or 2. So you can get into the state and into the point. And uh, I would like to thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.